Hey guys, so welcome to the first video of um, 2018 and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make these um, hexagon letter frames. So these are made out of popsicle sticks and scrapbook paper which you can see here and obviously we need a couple of other things in order to do that so um, besides that obviously I have a cutting mat to cut um, my scrapbook paper along with a ruler and a pen knife and then on the lettering side of things, I also have a pencil for sketches as well as my favourite De La Rowney graduate series, Rigo 1 brush and some ink. Give me a moment. So, I'll be using this um, Dr. P.H. Martin's Iridescent Calligraphy Colours Copper Plate Gold Ink to letter out my scrapbook paper. And that's about it. The only other thing you might want to get is um, these templates that I made. I've linked them down below in the description so you can download them and make your life easier when it comes to actually following along with this tutorial. So without much further ado and yada yada, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is build our frames before we get into any of that lettering stuff. So, in order to build the frame, the frame is actually made out of two parts. So, you have some popsicle sticks at the back, some popsicle sticks at the front, and then you have the, the paper kind of like sandwich in between. So, for this, I will be showing you how to build the back, then we'll move on to the front. Alright, so for the front, back, front, so let's start the back first. So what you want to do here is to, if you have this template already, great. If not, um, you can draw your own. So you want to put your popsicle sticks just on alternate sides. Here I'm doing 135. And then grab some glue. Oops, I forgot about that earlier. So um, grab some glue or epoxy or something. And then just dab like the corners. Sorry, not the corners, the ends, right, of each stick. And just join them up. So generally the glue doesn't dry straight away so you have time to move it around and um, arrange the angle a bit before letting it dry. So after the first layer what you want to do is go back and put down another layer on 135. Right? And this is your back. So let the glue dry, move it to one side, let the glue dry, and then build another another one of these. Only that this time you want to go up to about two, four, six, seven, maybe about six or seven sticks on that one instead. And then that will be your front. So nothing too glamorous here, just gluing sticks together. I know it sounds like a primary school project or something. So while yours are drying, let's get to the lettering part of things. So this particular template, if you look at it, has like two strange looking things up here. These are for your nails to hang from later on. So what you want to do is to cut this out and then put it over a piece of scrapbook paper and cut it out there as well, right? Now that we've got the paper all cut out, it's time to get to the lettering side of it. So I've got my pencil in hand and I'm just going to be sketching out the code that I want to letter and then after that I will be going, it off, going over it with ink.
So now the lettering is more or less done. I just need to wait for the dry so that I can erase the pencil lines and then we can start putting it all together. Alright, so now the lettering is dry and all the things have been removed, so now it's time to assemble the whole thing together. So I will be using just some basic um, glue to join everything up. So let's do this. So I'm going to put some glue on the top most tree. So I'm just going to use a glue stick here because I ran out of epoxy, but this should work as well because we were just doing this on paper. I would recommend using epoxy though if you're planning on putting heavy stuff on it. So yeah. now you just grab this and arrange it nicely. After that, you just need to take this last one and make sure that it's the same one that's on top. So this is going to be flipped over. So this part here needs to match so it can sandwich the paper. So my highest level, um, my highest layer in that sense both have like this and this so that they can squish together and um, sandwich this. So that's the whole point to it. Right, so now I'm going to put some glue along all this and Send it to you together. So this is how you make a popsicle stick frame and I explained it for your lettering all done nicely. So you can pop them on the wall and well have fun with it. So if you do follow this tutorial and um, do it on your own, be sure to like you know tag me on Instagram at the secret so that I can see what you're up to because I think oh, that will be awesome.